Hello and welcome to my 2,000 subscriber special experience. <laughs> yes, that's right. We've reached 2,000 subscribers, so obviously this video has been 2,000 subscribers in the making. Let me start off by, of course, thanking everybody who has subscribed to me so far, and it was like so surreal. Y'all surprised me, and I'm not gonna lie, I, my wig flew. <laughs> Ew, my hat hair. But I'm serious. Thank you for everything. Thank you for subscribing to me. Thank you for thinking that my content was worth a subscription. I know it's small to like a viewer, but to a creator, it's really nice because it's validation that we're doing something right. And especially if we're making content that we really enjoy and we see you guys enjoying it. It's just, it's a, it's a nice little warm, fuzzy feeling, you know? So to thank everybody, story time, a couple weeks ago on my community page, I asked everybody what you would like to see for my 2,000 subscriber special. And there were a lot of little things that couldn't really be like a whole video and they also all varied. So I'm just gonna do them all. Welcome to the 2,000 subscriber special where the subscribers choose the video and I just do it. Let's see, we got a couple different little segments. This might take a couple days to film, so you might see me in a different outfit tomorrow, but it's gonna be real fun, gonna be real cute. I hope you guys enjoy because this video is really for you because y'all have made my witch dreams come true. So thank you. I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Thing number one was actually suggested twice. So let's see, our boy Jeremy's Wild Studio, who's always just been super nice so me nothing but love and tess clausen who technically had two suggestions tess but hey you know what we're gonna do them both second part wouldn't mind seeing something where you take winslow outside in a safe area so we're gonna go ahead and take these suggestions of taking winslow on a walk slash outside but we're gonna give it a very bougie twist because when i bought winslow i feel like i exchanged part of my soul with him which is why he's petty and has an attitude problem <sighs> relatable so he needs just the bougiest way to go outside. The neighborhood has a very bad fire ant problem and we have crows that are the actual size of small dogs. So I have a little bit of a uh, compromise. This one's for you, Jeremy and Tess. Sub to Jeremy, I'll link in the bio. Cool guy, Winslow Adventure Time. So here's Winslow's ride. Yes, it's a dog stroller. Yes, I got it as a Christmas present specifically to be able to walk my lizard places. You know, I warned y'all that I was very extra and I really meant it. So you'll see there's some blankets in here. So Winslow's very scared of birds. So now if he gets scared, he could just burrow in here. It's kind of loose enough. He has a little bit, he has a second blanket back there and also gives him a little bit of height so he can look out and just have a good old jolly time. Here he is. I always travel with this net down because I don't trust birds, other people's dogs, and especially other people's children. Now I have blocked these little things with just some bunched up paper towels. Can't ever be too careful. Again, Winslow is my actual son, so all right, let's head out. So it's about 100 degrees. I forgot my sunglasses. So I'm obviously having a fantastic time. <laughs> Winslow looks like he's having a good time though, so that's what matters. Ugh, the things we do for love. I'm tired <laughs> and I'm sweating. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing black leggings like all year. Winslow, let's go to Starbucks. You're gonna have a good time there, I promise. Hello, beautiful boy. He was a very good boy at Starbucks. As he always is, Winslow's always a good boy. He's just sometimes kind of crazy, but that's okay. I love him anyways. I love you. I love you, Winslow. What did you think of Starbucks? Wow, so, so deep and meaningful and thoughtful. All right, let's, let's get you inside. I'm gonna get you inside. You can look out your window. You can go back to your window. Like, love window. Love window. Now, next person, Wrigley the, the Dodd. Wrigley the Dodd. Wrigley the Dodd. Said, Winslow, drag. 
So, of course, this was actually like the origins of my channel was making things for Winslow. I made him into Mario. I did a whole All Stars 4 photo shoot for him. We stand drag race in this household. So I decided that that's actually a really, really great idea. I love it. And then I started, you know, thinking like, oh, like who, who should I do? Like who should I, who should be my inspiration? Who should I remake a costume for? And to me, there's only one clear choice. One clear choice. Now, for those of you who maybe don't follow us on Instagram, you should. It'll be linked down at the bottom. You might not know that Winslow is a part-time drag queen. And he started his career very humbly. So, last All-Star season, All-Stars 3, my mom, Trixie Mattel. The chemical burn from the spiral perm. Trixie Mattel was, of course, top four. And in support, I made a little Trixie costume with a big wig and a big pink outfit and it's not very well made but it, i'm very proud of it it was so cute he looked adorable i'll put a picture in there for you so for this 2000 subscribers special i felt that there's only one person who really deserved a winslow outfit and that was trixie mattel she's coming out with a new docuseries she was the first drag queen who inspired me to dress up my lizard <laughs> like a drag queen <laughs> so i went to joanne's and got my og megan molder on this fabric choice okay so here's the vision I'm gonna make it in the exact same silhouette I did last time I'm gonna use this for a, like a dress and this for a cape like look me in the eye and tell me that this is not Trixie Mattel and he's gonna have a big blonde wig he's gonna look so adorable wigs take time though so this is why it's probably gonna take until tomorrow to finish filming this video because yo lizard wigs here's the thing Winslow's head is very small but making a lizard wig is very hard. I've made a lot of them. My lizard is the only lizard with a wig collection. Just in case you're wondering the brand of crazy that you've come to expect here at Winslow the Dragon. Category is Trixie Mattel Realness. Oh boy, is Winslow ready to live his Dolly Parton backwood Barbie fantasy? I gotta go brush out some yarn for a wig. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a second. <clears throat> the next day fam I finished the outfit and the wig we're going to do a little wig reveal real quick I'm gonna continue on this crazy special <laughs> My Great Dane is crying for no reason. So here's the wig. I curled it to try to give it some more volume, you know, try to get that real Trixie Mattel fantasy. I haven't taken it out, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and do that while Percy cries. I didn't know if this was gonna work or not. I'm not gonna lie. This was a very experimental plan. Percy, I don't know what you're doing, but could you not? I have to attend to my Great Dane now. This is why I don't have a dog channel. Look me in the eye and tell me that this does not look like a Trixie Mattel wig. I am amazing. Oh my god. The only part that really curled was this part, but the rest of the parts. Oh, bitch. I'm amazing. All right, Winslow, are you ready to get in drag? Oh my god. I am the greatest artist of all time. Look at this. Look at this. He looks like Trixie. Hi, I'm the Dolly Parton impersonator that you didn't invite to the party, but that showed up anyways. Trixie Mattel. Now there was another suggestion that simply asked to explain the history of our King Winslow. It's actually a very simple story. I've wanted a lizard since high school. Um, I had a pretty good track record of keeping fish. I figured out I wanted specifically a bearded dragon. My friend's brother had a bearded dragon. It always just seemed so chill and so nice. Actually, for a really long time, I didn't like the look of leopard geckos. Which, to be fair, are a much better starter lizard, if you're asking me. Leopard geckos are much easier to care for. Got out of high school, started college, started working, started making my own money, and I kept thinking about getting a pet. I considered getting another hamster for a really long time. I had a hamster live for five years. I'm not kidding. Four and a half. Four and a half, five years. Jesus, that hamster just lived forever. But I never had a reptile of my own. My brother had had a lizard. My parents had tortoises in the past. So I thought, you know, I need to delve into my reptile side. And one day I was watching Ace Ventura and I knew 
it's time. It's time to get a lizard. I knew which one I wanted. I knew which cage I wanted. I knew where to put it. I knew everything I could about this. And I was just like, today's the day. It was eight days before my 20th birthday. So June 7th of 2017, I went to PetSmart, which yes, is not the best place to buy lizards. I know. However, I don't have a reptile store near me. So I go in there, I go to the case, and I pick out my lizard. Winslow, they actually handed me a different one at first, but Winslow had these very beautiful oranges on his back. And I said, can I see that one? They let me hold him. And I was like, this is my lizard. This is my bearded dragon. And he has literally taken over my life ever since. <laughs> I became a changed woman after that, okay? Like, I was constantly buying crickets, because, you know, when he, he when bearded dragons are babies, they need more insects than salad. Now that he's a older dragon, he needs more salad than crickets. That's the history of Winslow. It's really not too terribly exciting. He's my son, and I love him dearly. Now this last suggestion is going to be probably take as much time as this Trixie wig did. Hopefully it turns out just half as good as this thing did because this turned out just beautifully. Oh my god. Make tiny things for your animals from Paola Martinez. We're going to try that Paola. She didn't really specify what and I'm not going to lie, I've made a lot of things for my lizard. But we're gonna, we're gonna try, he's probably just gonna get like a table, uh, some chairs or something like that. Something bougie, something kind of interesting. We're gonna finesse this in some way. I just, I just don't know how. Paola's for you. So I've managed to make two things for Winslow. One of them is a little table. Now, it's like a sit down table, like find in like Japan and stuff like that. It's something that I think Winslow's really gonna use. So he likes to sit up in the window. Now, sometimes he falls off because he can't grip the tile. So I've created this beauty with some felt that he could very much get his little claws into. And I'm just going to Elmer's glue it because Elmer's glue will come right up. I don't want to take it off, but it's a little harder for him to take it off. We're gonna glue that to the window seal so that Winslow can have a nice little thing to hang on to. Go, Winslow, do you like this? I made it all for you. And for Paola, what are your thoughts? Wow, so deep. Now I did also, of course, create a little tabletop, so we're going to give Winslow a nice little dish on top of it. Probably over there, because Archer's out. <gasps> he likes. Oh, you're a very messy eater. Oh, here we go. Right back up on the table. There you go. You like it? You like it, Winslow? I think you like it. Oh, what? Yes, there is a napkin there. He's a very messy eater, but I love him anyways. Oh boy. What was that? So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's presentation. <laughs> Thank you for watching my 2,000 subscribers special, and of course, thank you for subscribing. There's now 2,020 and change. We've officially passed the year. Yeah, if you guys want me to do this again, make sure you get me to 3,000, <laughs> and I'll do it again for sure. It was really fun. Hopefully, we can do this again soon sometime. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself as always. I had fun. I hope you guys have fun. I hope you guys have a very happy weekend. I'll be back Monday for a new video, Wednesday for another Game of Thrones recap. Normal stuff, we're gonna keep on trucking along. Um, if this is your first time ever watching me, hello, hi. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and then keep an eye on your community tab to see when I wanna know what your suggestions for my 3,000 subscriber special. I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting. Thank you for everything, basically. If you guys don't already, Make sure you follow me on my social media. It'll be linked down below, Instagram and Twitter. Again, thank you so very much to uh, all our 2026 of you that have subscribed as the point that I'm filming the video. Thank you, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Hope you guys had a good time. Bye.